Hello, welcome to this Dr Frost Maths tutorial where we'll be looking at how you can play a live game um, either in your classroom with your students or how a student can play it independently um, at home with their family and peers. And it's designed for mobile devices such as phones and tablets. So let's dive in. Um, we can either find it by clicking this link here on your dashboard uh, after you've logged in, so start a live game, or you can find it in the menu. So we've got set work and let's do live classroom game. So we've got this here and we can either uh, pick a live mode task by topic so we can just get questions on a particular topic and it will choose the questions for you or you can get some pre-compiled list of questions. So it could be a past paper, it could be some worksheet that someone has compiled. I'm just going to do it by topic. So we click that, uh, we get to choose uh, one or more topics. So I'm just going to pick algebra, changing the subject, uh, change the subject to the formula where the subject appears once only. Uh, and if you have set up a scheme of work, you can choose from there as well, the topics. And I'm just going to select four questions and I want to select the difficulty range. So it explains it here, but typically um, exam questions are kind of level two and three. So level two would be kind of more standard exam questions and level three would be um, hard exam questions. So I'm just going to stick it on this difficulty range here. So let's go. Now it will warn you if any of those questions on changing the subject combine with any other topics. So it might be there's a changing the subject question uh, which was used in the context of finding the area of a triangle. So I, I'm not going to click these but you can use these to permit other skills that it can combine that topic with. But I'm just going to click start. Now we get this here and we get this link which students can join with if they type it into their phone or tablet device and that is the passcode that they have to enter. So I've already um, created these two extra windows here, this could just be a phone. Uh, they've gone to that link and it's asked them for the passcode. So I'm going to put it in, so 506216, next. Um, that they can use their DFM login and if they do there's certain trophies associated with participating in one of these or winning one of these um, games. So I'm going to sign as a guest and I'm just going to put my nickname in as Batman. Please don't sue me. Let's do this thing. So that's ready to go and you can see on the teacher screen here it's now added my name. And if it's uh, a naughty name you can always kick them out by clicking that cross there. So I'm just going to add one more person, Superman. Oh, sorry, that was a name. I need a passcode. So 506216. I'm the guest, and I want Superman this time. Let's do this thing. And we've got the second person. So let's start the task. And then hopefully, on these phone screens here, it's going to pop up with where the student can input the answer. So I want to make X a subject to the formula. So on this screen, I'm going to input the answer. So you can see when I click it, a nice little algebraic keyboard pops up for students. So if they're on a phone, they can input variables and such. Um, if they want letters, they can go to ABC and get the letters from here. But I can just type it in because I'm using it from a desktop. So it's M minus P, and let's click this answer and they got it right and I'm now going to input from here and I'm going to say uh, let's do minus p squared plus m and that's right too and we can see uh, that their points popping up here I'm going to advance to the next question we've got another one here and it's popping up again and if I want to stop waiting because let's say not all the participants have entered an answer and you've wait, been waiting for too long, you can click the stop waiting button. Let's just put one more answer in. I'm just going to put in a random wrong answer. And if we enter an answer here, I'm going to put in the right answer. We're making these subjects formula, so 5 plus 3a. 1, 2, 3a plus 5 doesn't really matter. And we've got that. So let's finish now. Um, you can finish at any time, even if you haven't completed all the questions. And it's retrieving the final standings. So I can see that Superman won.